I know I'm not the only one who takes like half an hour extra getting ready because I am a German <laughs> I literally put on performances for my mirror and I know I'm not the only one ladies girls <laughs> I know I'm not the only one you know you can't disappoint the mirror hey guys I hope you guys are doing okay so this is a highly requested video this is my full foundation routine this is basically not a face i do every day no ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> this is actually a face i put on special occasions or maybe when i wake up feeling meh and then i put on my full face and it just turns my day from meh to yes <laughs> I'm going to take you step by step through my full foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so let's get right into it. I have started off with a clean face. Of course, you cannot put makeup on a dirty face. So start with a clean face. And then here, I'm just putting my moisturizer directly onto my skin and then rubbing it in. now the next step okay actually i just realized that i forgot to put primer i usually do put a primer before going into my color correcting which is what i'm doing here i'm color correcting with an la girl pro concealer in orange and i'm just using that to cover all my dark spots and then here I'm taking a brush and blending that out blend 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 you're gonna hear a lot of that word throughout this video you don't have to use a brush you can use a sponge a wedge a beauty blender anything that gets the blending job done and then here i just took a beauty blender and did some further blending so when you're looking all orange like an oompa loompa we move on to the next step which is where i take my concealer in my shade and i place that over my orange corrector so here i'm using la girl pro concealer in fawn and placing that over all the areas where I put my orange corrector. And then, as you can guess, of course, okay, something here was really making me <laughs> happy. <laughs> so, of course, again, blend, blend, blend. I'm using a different brush than the one I used to blend out my orange corrector. So I'm just using that to blend out that concealer. And then now I'm just taking a beauty blender and you guys guessed it, blending again. <laughs> so my beauty blender has some setting powder on it. So I'm just also using that to lightly set my concealer. Once that's done, we move on to the next step, which is foundation. And as you guys can tell, my foundation is almost ending. So and I um, shed a tear right there. So I'm just going ahead and placing that directly over my skin. I like using this creamy stick foundations as opposed to liquid foundations because liquid foundations really tend to dry out my already extremely dry skin so I, I prefer these cream ones and i'm just taking a flat top brush and again with the same word blending <laughs> blending 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 especially the foundation you have to blend that out you don't want a clear distinction between your jawline and your face or your hairline and your face so just take your time that's key 
I'm really getting into my hairline as you guys can see. <laughs> Maybe I'm going a bit overboard, but hey, better to go overboard than look like I have a mask on. <laughs> yikes my nose ring always gets so dirty when i'm doing foundation oh my goodness Woo! yes honey that foundation is flaking if i had hair there it goes <laughs> next we move on to highlight and contour if you guys want to see a detailed detailed video on how to highlight and contour thumbs up this video so here i'm basically just putting dots of a foundation that is one or two shades lighter than my skin tone and i'm gonna put this in all the areas where light hits my face which is basically under my eyes down the bridge of my nose and then my forehead my cupid's bow or bow 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 hmm. bow let's go with bow cupid's bow and then finally my chin and you guys know what we are about to get into yes blending blending we have to blend out that highlight so i'm using a beauty blender here again you can use a brush or a wedge so blend 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 <laughs> just blend blending is the major key major major key and then now what i'm doing is i'm taking a setting powder on a brush and i'm basically putting that over all the areas where i've highlighted to set that highlight you don't want it creasing and then you wonder why people keep looking under your eyes instead of at your eyes and then we're gonna bake we're gonna keep that setting powder on for about two minutes which is baking so if someone asks you do you bake you say hell to the year and then i'm taking a brush and brushing off that powder take your time with this sometimes the setting powder can refuse to move so just take your time to remove it And then when it's A1, <laughs> we can move on to contouring. So I'm taking a foundation that's again one or two shades darker than my skin tone. And I'm putting this under my cheekbone, cheekbones at the top of my forehead. Contouring my nose as well. And finally, my jawline. Boom! Beauty blender time! So I'm taking a beauty blender and I'm just blending out that contour. Look at those cheekbones, you guys. Just look at those 
cheekbones. Yes! So take your time to blend your contour out. You don't want harsh lines on your face. Blend out that nose contour as well. You can use a smaller brush to blend out your nose contour because I realize a beauty blender can be a bit hard to maneuver around your nose. And then here I just grabbed a brush and continued blending. Yes, blending is the key. The key to life. <laughs> Next, I'm setting that contour with a powder that's the same shade as the foundation I've used. And I'm setting all the areas where I have contoured. And then here I just grabbed a beauty blender because that brush is a bit too big for my nose. And I just set that contour as well. And now it's time for some blush. I'm using a beautiful plum color on my cheeks and I'm putting that directly on the apples of my cheeks and as you guys can see I'm really feeling myself I'm feeling myself next up is highlight this is a trick I love to do I put some Vaseline as the base of my highlight so I put Vaseline on all the areas where I'm going to highlight my face and then here I just took a fan brush with my highlight and put it over that Vaseline. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! Yes! <laughs> that highlight is winning! So this dark lip basically brings us to the end of my full foundation routine. I'm going to list all the products I've used in this video in the description box below. So this is the full foundation routine. Hey! <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed and moreover I hope you guys have actually learned a little something or a lot <laughs> so I'm gonna see you guys in my next video if you haven't already subscribed please do bye guys Mwah.